Hello, and welcome to this, the 21st verse of the Tao. All embracing power is manifest in the Tao. Tao embodied in action is elusive, a shadow. And yet within it, elusive, are forms and signs. Deep with its center, very deep, an essence of truth. Since earliest times, its name has been known as the source of all origins. How do I know the source of all things? It's so because of this. Hmm. All embracing power. The Tao embraces all things. It absorbs the power. All embracing is manifest in the Tao. All things, the entire universe, the entire existence of life and all things is manifest in the Tao. Because the Tao is a thing. Tao embodied in action. Yeah. Tao is embodied in doing. So all things, the entire universe can be manifest itself in what you're doing right now. What you're doing is the Tao following the way. Down bodied in action is elusive. Mm -hmm. so, so also Tao embodied in action, like being in the flow of things, like just killing it uh, on the soccer field, whatever, whatever you're doing, like when you're in the flow and activity, that's elusive. Because you're always kind of chasing that. It's like someone who's like chasing an adrenaline high. Like you're, you're always wanting to get in the flow. You're always wanting to experience the way, whether it's through like meditation or through activity, through action of doing some, some athletic or writing or whatever it is. Tao embodied in action, that's elusive, okay? It's a shadow. It's like you, just when you get into it, it sort of eludes you. And yet within it, elusive, are forms and signs. So even when you're following the Tao, and the all-embracing power is manifest in the Tao, the Tao is embodied in action, it's elusive, it's a shadow, and yet within it, within this elusiveness, forms and signs. So there is form, there is like a practice to things. It's like there is a practice to meditation. It's like every day you wake up, for 30 minutes, you do your meditation, then you fucking make tea, then you chop wood, then you wash your bowl, like they say in Zen. So there is this like practice to things. Forms. And there are signs, signs that you're in the right direction. So there are forms that you practice, like you do certain, like when you work out, you do sets, sets of 10, sets of 15, blah, blah, blah. And there are signs that you're on the right way. When you start to feel that certain pump, that's a sign that you're, that you're heading to the Tao. So you're always, you're always adhering. You're always practicing. You're always sort of listening and being aware. So you can find your way to the way. <laughs> deep with its center. The Tao is deep. It's fundamental. It's dense. Very deep. It's deep, deep with its center. So you go down deep to find the essence of what the Tao is. Very deep. So even when you think you're there, don't stop. Keep going. It's very deep. An essence, a truth. So go very deep to, to witness this Tao. It's just an essence. When you get very deep, it's just a very essence. But you'll know it because it's the truth. Just pow. Just, just hit it hit the Tao. It's truth. The Tao is truth. You know it's there. There is an essence, but it's something you can tell. Mm. Since earliest times. Yeah, because it's ancient. The Tao goes way back. It's like the most ancient thing that all people, all civilizations, all, all great things have followed the way. Since earliest times, it goes, you just, it's ever, ever, ever back. Your very earliest memory, the Tao. Its name has been known. Mm. Since earliest times, its name has been known. Whatever they called it, the way, 
um, like being in the flow, like spirit, energy, damn, whatever. That's the ancient Tao. Its name has always been known as the source of all things. So that all-encompassing energy, like he talked about in the very first part, all-embracing power is manifest in the Tao. Since earliest times, its name has been known as the source of all origins. All these things, embracing all these things coming into existence because of the Tao. It's the source. How do I know the source of all things? How do I know when I see the way? How do I know the source of all things? It's so because of this. Mm. So, and because it's so ancient even. Because from the earliest times its source has been known as the source of all things. Its name has been known as the source of all things. How do I know the source of all things? It's so because of this. Because I exist right now. Because I'm here speaking these words. Because Lao Tzu wrote this book. Woo! All embracing power. Intense. So we have a special bonus piece today. There's this Chinese character, which is T E, like Dao De Jing, Dao T E. This character is often translated as power. Damn, virtue. Virtue in its root, Latinate sense, is a cousin to vir viral, viral, suggesting fecundity, <laughs> as well as strength. Wow. It conveys a sense of ethical or moral power, energy, and dynamism, dynamism, <laughs> the ethical forces of nature. Whoa. Virtuous power, or the power of virtue. Shit. All-inclusive power. That's a powerful word. All-inclusive. All things. I love this part. This is, this is cool. It feels like we're actually getting somewhere now. Verse 21. We're like making progress. We're learning about the way. Learning about life. It's all-inclusive. It's the ocean. It's the stars. It's the moon. It's everywhere. Pow. Well, that was verse 21 of the Tao. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And check us out next time for verse 22 the Dow. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Peace out.